oxygen is reduced to form water, a byproduct of the electron transport chain. All the high-energy electron carriers from the previous stages of cellular respiration bring their electrons into the chain. From this, the bulk of ATP from the entirety of cellular respiration is produced, a net of 32 to 36 ATP. In summary, we have seen how the four stages of cellular respiration are responsible for converting the energy found in the glucose molecule into ATP, the energy battery of the cell. On average, 36 ATP molecules are produced per glucose molecule that entered the cell. In the process of producing ATP, oxygen is brought in from the bloodstream to be the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain, and the carbon dioxide that is produced as a byproduct is released. The goal of cellular respiration is to transfer the energy from the food that we eat daily into ATP that our bodies can use. This process starts with the eating of a snack or meal and ends with capturing the energy from the complete breakdown of the nutrients into energy and carbon dioxide.